Alright, so what is going on guys? I've been here. Today I will be showing you how to play um, um, GBA games on your R4. And uh, this will basically um, uh, run off of GBA Runner 2, and which is also by the creators of Twilight, uh, I think, which is also like kind of like a DS um, emulator for the uh, 3DS. And um, they, they're just really good uh, with GBA and all these other emulators and stuff. And this one works really well with the... Um, with the R4 and it's actually a fairly new so it's re it runs really smooth um I tried another emulator um I f already forgot what the name was but um of the emulator but it couldn't run um just uh um po not even like Pokemon Fire Red and this the one I have or that I'm going to be showing you how to um install works really good so what you will need is just a ds of any system doesn't really matter if it's a, if it's a ds a fat ds light dsi 3ds 2ds basically as long as you have an r4 it works so yeah you will need an r4 and it also some uh, space on your uh r4 so because mine has about like 38 megabytes free and I, I'm pretty sure I have barely enough for this tutorial and some sort of uh, adapter for your computer if your computer doesn't support um, a micro SD straight out of the box so yeah you will need an adapter an SD card um, your R4 and a, basically a DS system and you'll also need to provide your own way to provide your own uh, um, ROMs so because i won't be showing you how to install any roms and so you could just dump them from your own um cons uh games or whatever so let's go straight into the um computer but and i will be trying something new um actually screen recording the computer this time so that it wouldn't be all wonky so yeah so let's get started all right so what you want to do now is um you want to um take out your uh sd card from your r4 and insert it into your um computer using an adapter or something all right so um now what you want to do is you want to go to um the first files in the in the in the first link in the description and it should take you to ysmenu.7zip and you want to download that um, and you need to make sure you have um, winzip or something else to extract it I already downloaded this you also want to download a bios.bin and gba runner so um, basically if you were to open up the link you would go on here uh, it should take you to here you want to go to releases and then go to the latest one and um, download arm 7 dldi dot nds uh, or underscore nds uh, underscore ds dot nds you want to download this one make sure it's arm 7 and not arm 9 All right so now um, you want um, so you basically you guys should have these three files if so this one is already extracted um, so you want to open up a YS menu alright so and you also um, want to find the uh, flash cart you have here so mine is actually R4i SDHC so I'll be opening this one up and all you want to do is you want to take um, ysmenu.nds uh, tt menu and uh, dot dat and the tt menu folder and put it into the root of the SD card also be putting um, tt menu on the root yeah so you just want to take this this and this um, uh, these files these three files and just put all of them on the uh, root and make sure again make sure it's um you, the same uh, 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 flash card you have sorry about that all right and 
you also want to take a GBA runner you want to take GBA runner and bios.bin and put it to the root of the SD card right so there's uh, there should be GBA runner and uh, bios.bin right so now um, you want what you want to do now is you want to create a folder and name it just GBA right so now um, you should um, now what you need to do is you need to provide your own um, ROMs um, I won't be uh, providing any for this video um, uh, you need to uh, find some or uh, just rip some off of your uh, uh, your own cartridge so I'll be taking this GBA file make sure it's a GBA file and put them into the GBA folder that you made earlier All right so it's 80% complete it should be complete right now all right so now um that's basically all for uh, this part the computer part all right so here we are on the uh, DS so now what you want to do is just um, launch up your R4 so here we are you want to it should start loading up and then you do not want to start up a GBA runner yet you actually want to start up YS menu first all right so from there you want to uh, uh, go over to your GBA runner so you're gonna be having to do this every time uh, you want to load it up so, all right so it's just loading up so it's uh, I think this is the first time it should be doing it because um, it's the first time we've opened it up so go it's loading so you want to just tap on your uh, ROM I think you tap on it. Um, I'm still trying to get used to it, whether you tap it or you press buttons. Um, there you go. You actually want to zoom. Right. There go. And there we go. So it plays really, really smooth. One of the best ones I've actually uh, used, basically, like ever. And so everything runs really smooth. Um, I'm not sure if it works with every single DS game or uh, uh, Game Boy Advance game. So, yeah. So this is basically it. So you already learned how to do this. And um, make sure to leave a like, subscribe. And I hope you guys liked uh the new intro and the new um, screen recording did I, I did. Um, I'm definitely going to try to have a better quality, a better mic quality on all that. And yeah, that's basically all you need um, to do. Make sure to like, uh, subscribe, and I will see you all later with some more tutorials.